Hello everybody. Welcome to another action-packed week of sales. Never took a left. Aw, that cart was a jack of you. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Ew, what's this look? Terrible. Alrighty, so start of a new week. Well, a new week for us, because this is how we do it. We start our new our week, I'm gonna move over a little bit. Start our week on Tuesday, because we have a long weekend every week. And then we start on, that's how it works. You guys know by now. Anyways, um, got some good sales for you today. Uh, today is Tuesday, June 8th. And uh, this morning, again, scary. And then, phew, shot straight up in the air. So. We're okay with it. I mean, if this is the new trend, this is the new trend. This is what it is. So, let's get started with uh, this. This is a lot of six pain magazine. <laughs> it's not what you think it is. I just snorted there when I laughed. Uh, it's a tattooing magazine called Pain. She looks scary. <laughs> a lot of six tattoo magazines, uh, $12 plus shipping for the Pain that down there get hurt uh, next up we have a viewer sale uh, saw the bins video yesterday Monday's video and reached out to us she wanted the Lane Bryant uh, flower shirt that we got here new with the tag tags right there um, new with tags Lane Bryant rose blouse short ruffle sleeves is what we got here uh, it says pretty uh, and that went out to a viewer. Melinda, thank you so much for the business. I really hope you enjoy the shirt. And we're going to include a Pittsburgh Picker sticker just for you. Again, you may display this anywhere you'd like. But preferably, you know, in a place where like hundreds of thousands of people see it. That would be okay. But again, Melinda, thank you so much for your business. We'll go throw a sticker in there for you. Next up, sold a gun. Huh. <laughs> Not that kind of gun. It's a cap gun. It's a Wild West cap gun. Takes those strips of caps. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. They were awesome. Uh, die cast metal cap gun from 2006, oddly enough, so it's not vintage. Oh, well, I guess maybe that is vintage now. Um, $18 plus shipping. Uh, bought the cap gun from the auction last week. Sunday's video. So, next up, it's a little another Cabbage Patch Kid. The garden behind me is getting a little smaller because Craig left. There's Craig. It's Craig the Cabbage Patch. He has a beanie on. Um, Craig sold for $28 plus shipping. He is from the 90s. Um, where is he? No, I'm sorry. He's from the 80s. He's 1982. He's got his tongue sticking out there, as you can see. He's got rosy cheeks, brown hair, brown eyes, and... Uh, his little jumpsuit here with the, the bear on it. Uh, Craig here sold for $26 plus shipping. <clears throat> Craig also came with his blankie and some paperwork. See, his name's Craig. So, we've been we've been talking about Craig like as if he's another person that lives in this house. So I'm actually a little sad to see Craig go. Um, Sarah got all those creepy baby dolls, and she also got this. This is that, uh, I think it's a like a muff you put your hands in either side uh, to keep them warm. My hands will definitely not fit in this. In fact, you'd have to have small hands to fit in this. Uh, this is like a bunny rabbit or fox. I don't know. It's all jacked up, but um, it's, uh, it's sold $20 plus shipping. Uh, but yeah, there it is. It's super scary, so if you're having trouble sleeping at night, probably because of this um next product is this and this is a well, i bought this on an online auction and nobody was bidding on it so i bid a dollar and i won and it, it said the reason i only even considered it was because it said that on the side of it so anything pampered chef tends to go for a lot of money except this 
Um, this is not really worth that much money. Um, it sold for $20 free shipping, but by the time we ship it, it's probably going to be maybe a net profit of 10 bucks. But what it is, it's, it's an ice shaver. So you put your, you, you got these little bowls here and you freeze the ice and you drop it in here and then do this until you have a snow cone, which is way too much work. Um, but yeah, 20 bucks for this plus shipping, or I'm sorry, free shipping. Next up, sold the transparent woman. Finally, uh, right here. So transparent woman. It is not vintage. This is from the early 2000s. Um, it isn't really a toy. It's more of a model kit for learning. Um, it had an Ollie's price tag on it actually at one period of time. We got this and a lot of a few other things, uh, from an auction, an online auction. Um, we got the six million dollar man toy and a few other toys and this came with it um twenty five dollars for this pl free shipping we're probably not gonna make a lot on it but um it's nice to have the space back because that was a pretty big toy sold a rugby jacket here this is a ralph lauren rugby jacket um it's got kind of the polo sports stuff on it um it is men's size medium new with the tags uh forty bucks for this plus shipping Next up, sold a terry cloth um, half apron. It's got poodle dogs on it. There's kind of what it looks like. Uh, the back, and then there's the poodle right there. Um, we got these on uh, an auction over the weekend where we got uh, the, the rest of the bins video that you saw when we kind of clumped in some auctions that this was in with it. Uh, $21.50 plus shipping for the apron. Uh, Sarah's creepy baby doll collection that's right over here is getting a little full so she's purging to make room for new ones so um but this one um actually this one she was gonna put with her collection but uh she didn't this was we got this at the uh online or at the live auction so sunday's video this was the baby in the crib super creepy and it uh it like squeezes I don't know what it's supposed to do, but that's what it does. Um, 1940s, 50s, it's an F&B Dady Baby Doll. Uh, 11 inches. Ah, so creepy. It's like a painted, somebody painted its head. It's just not, it's very, very scary. $13 plus shipping for creepy baby doll. Apparently there's a market for them because that sold fast. That was on uh, for less than an hour before it sold, so insane sold some levi's <laughs> no it's it's been a couple days it's been about a week almost uh sold some women's levi's these are levi's five seven or sorry five fifteen and fourteen medium um these are boot cut stretch low rise levi's got these at the bins uh 14 bucks plus shipping sold a barbie this is a collectible barbie we bought uh, we're buying and can, still in the process of. A um, friend of uh, Sarah's has a Barbie collection that she's trying to liquidate. So we are buying them from her and selling them on eBay. Um, some of them we're taking in as consignment. You don't need to know the details. Anyways, sold this one. Uh, this is Cher Barbie. Cher. Do you believe in love after love? Not a good singer. Uh, Cher Barbie, new in the box from... What year was this made? I didn't even get a real chance to look at these. Um, doesn't say. I'm not sure when it was made. It's got a, a family toy store uh, sticker on it. So that's quite a while, quite a ways away. Um, oh, family toys closed quite a while ago as far as I know. Um, anyways, Cher Barbie, 88 bucks for Cher here. Plus shipping. And last for today, we had some big ones today. Between Cher and this, um, did pretty well. Uh, this is a Nintendo 3DS. I didn't want to get rid of this because I had never seen a 3DS, nor have I ever played one. And when I turned this thing on, <laughs> I wanted to keep it. This top screen, <laughs> if you guys haven't checked these things out, you got to play one. This top screen is trippy. It's like 3D. It's crazy and it's awesome and i really want it <laughs> but i sold it because they fetch a really good dollar um anyways nintendo 3ds uh they call it flame red um I'll show you the logo on the back for those of you that maybe don't know what the logo looks like uh got this in a lot um 
Sunday's video with a couple other DS's um, and I don't think anybody knew this was a 3DS and I think I was the only one who did because we got the whole lot for 20 bucks and this by itself sold for $135 plus shipping um, it came with this we did have to get a power adapter for it which I bought at GameStop today for $9 and then uh, I bought a game because I wanted to test it so I bought this game uh, and it also comes with it. So those three things, $135 plus shipping. Hello, everyone. Hi. Today is Wednesday, June 9th. And uh, got some sales today. Still kind of teetering on that edge of slow to, you know, normal as far as business goes. Um, overnight, we normally just don't do much business and then during the day it kind of goes up and I don't know I guess it's just the way things are now people are uh, shopping while they're at work I guess and then doing things outside with their families which is fine you know we're good with that uh, so sales we got this to start with this is a meaner women's half sleeve black lace purple slip I don't know what this is <laughs> it's a uh, by meaner I don't know. But it's like a... It looks like a purple dress. I guess it's not. I don't know. Um, it's a size extra large, new with the tags. $14.50 plus shipping. I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to get dog fur on that. It ain't ever coming off there if it does. Next up is what I assume is a viewer sale because it says, Buyer's Note. Thank you so much. Good day, sir. Which would be... Well, my guess would be is that this person watches my videos and more importantly watches them to the end which is awesome because at the end of some of my videos we have Gene Wilder from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory saying good day sir and the only reason I'm almost like positive about that is because people don't use the expression good day sir anymore um it used to be almost an insult where people would get mad at somebody and say, Good day, sir. Which, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't sound very insulting to me, but whatever. Um, so this is a uh, Visions by P Corning Pyrex. Um, it's, like, it's a purple-pink Pyrex dish from the uh, 80s, I believe. Yeah. Well, where's the year on this? Uh, there's no year. Nope. No year. Hmm. Make that every year. Made in the USA. So that's good. Um, this goes out to, uh, I believe if I'm butchering this, don't hate me. It looks like Harold James. So, Harold James, thank you so much for the purchase. We really appreciate it. Um, $25 plus shipping on this. Next up, we got this. This is a Wonder Art hook kit latch and hook kit these are those things that escape me just about as much of pronouncing words that i don't use frequently on like on those books this i'm just not an arts and crafts person i if i had to make something like this you'd see you would see you'd hear a lot of cursing coming from the other room because i just i don't have the patience for something like this uh 16 for this plus shipping Next up, sold a, one of those keychains from the auction. This is Darth Vader. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Darth Vader keychain, uh, vintage Darth Vader keychain from 1996. Sold for $12. Free shipping. Sold a tank top because that's what people want these days. Um, <laughs> All these, every tank top we buy leaves. There's a tank top. Um, Aeropistol tank top, new with the tags. You see the tag right there? Yep, there you go. Um, floral men's tank top. Floral. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, size medium, $10 plus shipping. Sold some uh, comics. These are comics we've had for a while. I gotta stop doing that where I talk and then kind of fade off. I'm like, yeah, we're some comics. We sold them. We sold some comics. I'm gonna stop doing that. The so next up, 
sold these comics. Um, these are ElfQuest Hidden Years. Um, five, number five, six, nine, fourteen, and fifteen. Um, not a lot of money here. Three dollars plus shipping for these. Um, those were comics we bought a long time ago, and uh, bought them in like a real big lot. This was before eBay. We bought them because we were kind of collecting comics at one point. Um, so just started selling through them because all the ones that we wanted, we took out. Next are some jeans. <laughs> These are those J. Crew jeans that uh, you saw me buy at the bins. There's a tag right there. J. Crew, uh, men's style 770 is what they call it. 32, size 32, 34, straight fit blue jeans, sold for $16 plus shipping. Not bad money on the used J. Crew jeans. So if you guys see them out there. I want to consider getting them because they're fetching uh, a couple dollars shy of Levi money. Uh, sold some pants. Woo! Sharp. Um, these are plaid Abercrombie and Fitch pants. Uh, not new with the tags, but uh, you know how the story goes. They're probably new. Um, these actually look like they might have a little wear to them. Um, size 3430. $18.15 plus shipping. Next up. Sold some Nike uh, shorts down here. Uh, sold these. Kind of a camo pattern. Nike shorts. Uh, these are new with the tags. Right here. There's tag. Um, then size large. Sold for $15. Plus shipping. Alrighty, and last for the day. This is Age of Innocence. More from the Franklin Library. Um, these are mixed in with those heritage books. Um, the Age of Innocence uh, from 19... Well, it was reprinted in 1984 by Edith Wharton. $10 plus shipping for that. Hello everybody! Welcome back! Today is Thursday, June 10th. Raining here today. Not a pretty day at all. Uh, and humid. <sighs> really humid. Um, we did really good today. Um, this morning again, woke up, very little sales, and then woo! off the chain so we're happy about that uh starting out with this this is a book across the missouri hmm. sounds fun um this is a franklin library leather bound book sold for 19 dollars plus ship sold an army field manual uh, from june 1954 this is hand-to-hand -hand combat so probably some good reading there sold for eight dollars plus shipping next up sold a jacket a levi jacket see we still like levi right there it's a color blocked uh levi jacket tan and blue brand new believe it or not uh, there's a tag right there uh this jacket <laughs> I don't know what it is with denim jackets because it seems like it always happens with denim jackets. We put a denim jacket on and then it gets like 35 low ball offers. And when I say low ball offers, we were only asking $45 for this coat. So it wasn't like we were asking hundreds of dollars. It was 45 bucks and people were like, yeah, I'll give you 24 or I'll give you six. And it's like, <laughs> you're not even in the ballpark. You're out in the parking lot. So uh, finally someone stepped up uh, we lowered the price to 40 and then someone offered us 35 and we took it. So $35 plus shipping for the Levi jacket. And retail on these things isn't cheap from what I remember. No, $79 jacket. So not like we were being unreasonable. <laughs> People just didn't want to pay for it. Next up, sold some very, very yellow Nike shorts. Woo! <laughs> They're hurting my eyes. Uh, brand new with the tags. These are just kind of your basic run-of-the-mill basketball shorts they've got like the holes in them um nothing too special here men's size medium sold for 14 dollars plus shipping sold some more of those heritage press books this is um the essays the f lays by francis bacon i like his last name i don't think he's any relation to kevin but maybe <laughs> sold for ten dollars and fifty cents plus shipping sold a polo shirt this one's funky. Kind of like it. It's a what is this? Knight's Bridge for men, men's size, uh, medium. Uh, new with the tags. Pretty cool. Sold for ten dollars plus shipping. 
sold us two shirts to the same person. They're both universal thread shirts. Here they are. Universal thread shirts. Uh, both kind of the same. They're both, uh, you know, uh, women's, I believe these are women, yeah, women's shirts. They're just like kind of a, your basic pocket tee. Uh, and then uh, one in like an orange color. Uh, both of these together, $11 plus shipping. They are women's size large. This is good. It's a good sale. One of my favorite things that we've ever sold. Just because it's just awesome. It's a vintage shag rug rake. Apparently. And I was unaware of this because I do not know anything about shag carpeting, nor have I ever had one. But apparently, you hook this on to your vacuum, and you rake all the crap out of your shag carpet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome that we sold that. $38 for the shag carpet rake from Sears, plus shipping. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite sales ever. Sold a Nike shirt, just your basic Nike running shirt, the, the swoop on it. Um, nothing to, no dry fit or anything like that here. Uh, $10.15 plus ship. Sold some L.L. Bean jeans. These are L.L. Bean carpenter jeans. We got these at the bins. Um, the carpenter ones sell pretty well for us. These have got kind of the you know, weird little back pocket thing for like a hammer or some tools. Uh, and then it's got the loop right here. Uh, size 34.30. Eleven dollars for these plus shipping. Sold a trucker jacket. Uh, I believe this is Levi also. Yes, it is. See that? Well, I told you. Yeah, we, we like Levi still. Just can't find our stuff for cheap enough. Uh, One hundred and twenty dollars for this retail. Pretty expensive. Uh, this is another jacket. We got a bunch of low ball offers on. Not as many as the denim jacket, but again, new with the tags. Even on sale, sixty nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Ended up letting it go for thirty bucks plus shipping. Big sale for the day right here um, yeah these are not me these are Prada sunglasses let's see if I can get the camera to zoom in to the side there Prada sunglasses um, new with the tags Prada sunglasses discontinued these are the Prada cinema SPR 13Q right here. 100 bucks for the Prada sunglasses plus shipping. Sold a vintage Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. This is one of our favorite shirts, the Muscle shirt. Now, this just says Abercrombie and Fitch on it. It's uh, not embroidered, but um, still vintage. Sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Got a Nike Pro Combat Hyper Warm fitted hoodie. Uh, this is pretty cool, actually. It's a uh, Pro Combat by Nike. New with the tags. It's red on the inside. It's pretty cool. Uh, the tag's in here somewhere. Unless I ripped it off again. There it is. Right there. Um, men's size medium. Sold for 20 bucks. Plus ship. Sold some uh, woven running pants down here. Um, these are Nike woven running fan pants. They are dry fit pants. They're kind of like your normal run-of-the-mill running pants, but they've got a little, little extra uh, to the inside of them. Uh, $18 for these, plus shipping. These are men's size medium, new with the tag. Sold a Lamax Carrot Caddington Village. Um, we got this at uh, the first auction uh, that we went to out in Ohio. This is kind of like a little village that you put under your uh, Christmas tree. I always wanted like a really extensive village under my Christmas tree, but we have cats, so that would go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, yeah, this is the... Uh, uh, just a lighted house is what they're called. Porcelain lighted house. Uh, 20 bucks for this. Plus shipping. Sold a sponge. <laughs> oh, it's not a sponge. It's a mop head. <laughs> Sold a big easy sponge. Got this retail arbitrage at Ollie's. 10 bucks for the sponge. Free shipping. Sold uh, another lot of those 50 centivos. The Japanese currency from World War II. Um... A lot of these, 15 of them sold for $15. Free shipping. Sold a PlayStation game. This is a Teach New, Teach New 2. Um, this was actually uh, in a lot with a PlayStation 1, 
bunch of games and all the games that came with that PlayStation didn't match the covers and they were all really good games. This game by itself, $16 free shipping. So not bad. And we have Tish New One also, which is worth like $20. So keep an eye out for those weird, weird games. It seems like the rarer they are, which this one is, um, the better. Sold another book. It's down here. Uh, this is the the Conquest of Peru. Right here. This is one of those books that we bought, actually. Um, this one's not in the best of shape. This one actually has some wear, and it's rare out of this stack of books that we got that actually any of them had any rare, uh, wear to them. $11 for this one, plus shipping. And last for today, sold a record. Uh, we put a lot of thought into this title of this record. It's Todd. I guess that's Todd right there. Uh, Todd Rungren is the name of the artist. It's going to be one of those ones that I just don't know anything he sung. And I'm sure there's a few of you out there that are going to point out what he sung. Anyways, Todd here, $7 plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Today is Friday, June 11th. It's <laughs> flying by. So next thing you know, it'll be fall, and I'll be angry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we had some good sales today. We did really well. So it seems like middle to end of the week is our sweet spot lately, and then the weekend just... <whistles> but I don't know. Maybe if the weather's crap in the majority of this, the country, then we'll get some good sales this weekend. We'll see. Uh, today was really good, though. Probably one of our better days we've ever had. Anyways, first on the list is books. Um, there's a set of three of these. Uh, this is The Man in the Iron Mask, right here. These, if you see these out there, especially if they still have the cover on them, the slip cover that is, this exterior thing, um, you're going to want to get them. Because they are worth some money. Eighty-nine, or sorry, eighty-five dollars. Took an offer. We were asking ninety, eighty-five dollars plus shipping for these. Next up, we sold a Puma uh, tank top, color block tank top. Um, not new with tags, but pretty much new. Um, just your standard kind of workout tank top. Eight dollars and fifty cents for this plus shipping. Sold another Ralph Lauren sports shirt. This one's new with the tags. Ralph Lauren. Uh, if I can get it. There we go. Some hands aren't working either. There it is. Right there. So I've got the tag on it. Right there. Um, men's size medium. This sold for $15. Plus shipping. Next up. Some pants. Some dress pants. These are curvy fit slim size 16. They're Worthington's. I don't know. Women's dress pants. That's pretty much what they got. I think these were Sarah's. And she got rid of them because she doesn't have to go to her office anymore. So she's blowing all her dress clothes right out of the house. Uh, what do we get for those? $10 plus shipping. I sold a magazine. Uh, this is Mojo Magazine. We found this at the bins. It's got uh, Paul McCartney right there on the front of it. Paul looking quite young. Mojo Magazine from, I believe this is, yeah, 2001. It's a definitely a British magazine. $3, three pounds, 20 pence for this. Uh, sold it for $5.50 American dollars. <laughs> Plus shipping. Next up, our big sale. It's going to take me a minute, so I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. We sold a paintball gun. <laughs> and it is serious. Check that thing out. we got some flames down there. we got whatever this is. Just, no, just to let you guys know. I know nothing about paintball, paintball guns. I know they shoot paintballs. That's as far as my expertise goes. And because I know a little bit about firearms, I do know how to do this. But other than that, I know nothing about this gun. <laughs> so um, this is, uh, yeah, this is your paintball gun. It's made by Palmer's Pursuit Shop. It's a custom built paintball gun right here. And apparently this has an auto cocking device on it where you don't actually have to pull the bolt back. Um, you can just shoot away and uh, I guess blast your opponents with paintballs. That comes with a barrel right here. This is an Apex 2 barrel. Don't know anything about it. And it comes with the uh, little hopper here, right here that holds all the paintballs. Um, 
and then it comes with a bunch of tools for the paintball gun. Uh, total sale, put it on auction, $300 in $302 even, plus shipping. All right, I'm back. Just to let you know, we paid $40 for the paint gun. 40 It was a good one. Pretty happy about it. it was a total mistake, unfortunately. Um, I didn't buy it knowing anything about that gun, so I uh, didn't know. I, I knew it was worth more than $40. I did not know it was worth that much, so sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Next up, a uh, Holister t-shirt. This is a Holister California t-shirt in camo. Men's size large. Um, we, we found these at the bins. 100% on that. No, Sarah found these um, at a thrift store. So she went out by herself, $8.50 plus shipping for those. Sold a DVD. We don't sell a lot of DVDs, but typically if we see something that's uh, new and kind of kitschy, you know, we'll buy it. This is uh, Charlie Chan. Um, a couple movies, In Secret Service, The Chinese Cat and the Jade Mask. Um, this sold for $8.89. I'm sorry, $6.89. Plus shipping. So the record, this is Santana, um, Moonflower, double vinyl. I know who this guy is, so you guys, you don't need to tell me who Santana. I know who Santana is. I'm familiar. Next, uh, Santana sold for seven dollars plus shipping. Sold a flag, flag trends. Um, this is like a flag that hangs out in front of your house. It's got like a bird and some flowers on it. Isn't that lovely? Sold for nine dollars, free shipping. Next up, sold a Zaraman shirt. It's a, it's a wild one. It's a very, very pink camo shirt by Zaraman. Um, Fourteen dollars for the shirt, plus shipping. Sold another shirt. This is a Mind, Body, and Spirit baseball T-shirt, uh, size double X, new with the tags right here. Uh, this sold for fifteen dollars, plus shipping. Um, one of those last minute auction purchases whenever the, at the end of that auction when they called everybody up uh, and you bid basically per item, you know, per lot on the table, um, found these. These are vintage Anchor Hawking orange juice glass and carafe set. Check those out. They're pretty cool. Um, set of four glasses, one carafe. Sold for $36 plus shipping. Paid two bucks for this. So auctions continue to pay well for us sold a book uh westward ho right here westward ho there you go uh this one sold for ten dollars and fifty cents plus shipping sold some jogging pants these are um polo sport jogging pants right here uh, i think these have the tag on uh no they don't so just polo sport jogging pants. Uh, they got the zip up pockets, which are the po are popular these days. Um, these sold for thirty seven dollars plus shipping. You pay big money for anything that says the word polo on. Well, Ralph Lauren polo, not the the rip off polo. Um, sold that uh, Urban Outfitter shirt that you guys saw me get at the bins. This one here. Uh, this one sold for seven dollars plus shipping. Sold a Pioneer slide caliper. Number 2500, right here. Just an old tool. Uh, $12 for this, plus shipping. Free shipping on that, I'm sorry. And the last for today is a book, The Prisoner of Zenda. Right there. Uh, this one sold for $10, plus shipping. And that's it for the week, guys. Uh, this week was good. Uh, we we thought we were going to you know continue our slowdown, but it definitely got a lot better as the week went on. So very happy with the sales. And that's about it. If you guys haven't already, we're getting real close to 900. So if you haven't, you're watching this, click that subscribe button. Um, really would appreciate it. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. That would be very nice of you. And that's it for this week, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Good day, sir.